uh, this will be a movie about uh, Zeta Toys Dark Gold. As you can see, here is the figure. He has a target master, which I will address uh, in the video because he doesn't come with the target master originally. And I will. This will be a, also a tutorial how to transform him forward and back for those of you who have problems. So uh, let's see. I will make a brief presentation of what's in the box uh, because I made a comparison before b between him, uh, Zita, Jazzy, and Toy War Jazz. You can see a link to that comparison below, so I will not be talking much about that. If you stick to the end of the video, I will show you something very, very cool. So uh, let's hope we both get there. So uh, let's see what's in the box first. This is the box. It is very basic. The, the size is the same as the Toy World Jazz uh, or Coolsville. When you open it, you have the oh, it's kind of stiff. You have the same insert that's usual for Toy World. I really like this kind of packaging, this reveal style box. So that's a plus for them. So moving this aside, let's move dark gold or I will call him stepper here and in, bo in the box you also get this an instruction with card and as you can see on the card the colors are different so this was a big thing for those who bought them I personally do not mind this I would like some gold but the way it turned out I think he looks very nice in hand so I do not mind this I did not open this instruction but it looks okay everything should be there also, he came with those two speakers that you can plug in his hand or in his car mode. He ca came with a string, <laughs> this hook, and an arm attachment. So, if you connect them together, you can get something like this. So, you can get the string and make him hold his hand. This is Zeta Toys Jazzy with a replacement visor. So here's an option for you. He also came with this gun that that you can you can hold in his hand and this launcher that you can put over here. So I think he looks very nice. I really like the white, the white, the way the white is a very whitey white. Uh, it's hard to explain, but there are many off-white figures, but this is the most white I have seen lately in a figure, so... Other than that, you also have a replacement head with an expression. Very nice. The paint is very nicely done. And what else? I think that's everything. So, let's see him up close. So, at first I I wasn't a fan of this... Uh, matte finish, we can call it. Uh, I preferred the more reflected, f reflective finish. This this is a toy world jazz with which has uh, I think a superior uh, superior finish to the, the the Zeta Jazzy. But as you can see, it's it's very wide, but it's very reflective. And this this is more of a matte finish. And I really like the way he turned out. So here's the way he looks. And of course you can hide the the door wings. I will not do it because because I prefer him like this. So also I made a custom mount for a target master, but we'll get back to this once I transform him to car and back. So uh, I will show you which parts are very important for the transformation uh, also this head as you can see is pushed all the way down it may be hard at first but you can definitely get it to sit down uh, at first it was locking here so the head was up high but once you work this joint so that it moves past it's it sits the way it should so okay so to transform him Sorry for the cut hair that will be probably visible throughout the video. So to transform him, there is a way to to position the hands. I'm not sure which is the best. I think this will. Let's see. 
I always forget this part. Which 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 way of posing the hands is better? Maybe this. Let's go with this. Why not? We'll see if there's a difference. So let's put the hands like this. Rotate them to the other side and hide them here. And now with the hand, he has a few parts that you can rotate. So at first, move the hand up and move everything down like this and push this part here. And it is very important that this is pushed all the way in. At the Toy World Jazz, this was a problem. Add those two Jazzy and God Dark Gold, it's not that bad, but it is important that this is pushed all the way down. So, once again, move the hand up here. Boost. I'm mentioning those parts because they will give you some problems later on if you do not adjust this properly. So, this is done. Let's maybe... Let's unplug everything here. So, I will move those head hands to the side like this and now if you push with your fingers on forward on this part it should unplug here whoa not not that hard <laughs> so and also there are two ports here that unplug the wheels so uh, how should I do this maybe at first I will move this up and as you can see here are the wheels and when I'm holding this, you just move this aside to unplug them. And this part here also. Uh, bear in mind that these parts lock very tightly, so you will probably need a tool to unlock them. This is another difference between Zeta and Toy World. The Toy World parts are do not have such such tight tolerances. So. Okay, it's pushed in. Now we move this up like this, and and once again, make sure that this is, as you can see, this does not move all the way in. But it is important that this will hide. Okay, now it's in all the way in. So the next part we did this. So we let's move the head down. So it is on a double hinge, so it may be hard at first to move it, but we will try. Because it's an, on a double hinge, you can slide this like oh, this, so there is a room to move this panel here. It may seem that it will not pass through, but once you position it properly, which uh, it's hard for me to describe, but you will see that the way it is moving, it has a few points that it's rotating and it can be moved past like this. And as now you will have to move it down here. Be careful not to wrap this part. I usually end up with some damage on my just like figures, so I always try to avoid it. Okay, so the head is here right now and let's 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 leave it like this. This is okay. So now the arms. So the arms are like this. And now you have to Did I messed up? Did I or did I not? No, I think it's fine. So move your way around like this. So this arm ends up looking like this. And with the second arm, it, it would be hard to move it like this. It's hard for it to move, but what I noticed, if you first move this part and then rotate it down, it is much easier. So, when this is pushed all the way over here, now this part will be like this. If it's not pushed all the way, which I see a lot of people do, it will be 
the, it will lock like this. You it would not it will not move to be parallel. So this is an important part. So we can leave this for now. Uh, as you can see now, the windshield is not pushing down. You just have to spread this slightly, and it will push all the way in. So this is the front of the car. Basically, the front and the back are not that hard. The hard part is to snap them back together. So mm, now this move this ankle part inside also this one inside and I always lose myself in this part so those two black parts need to be rotated in okay and now okay unplug those two parts like this this and this will also unplug so let's let's leave it like this for now this part will move up and now should we rotate it like this i think we yes so uh, rotate it so that the legs are facing the other way like this and now with this part up as you can see you have a hole here rotate the leg, leg so they are doing something like this so once again like this and like this so normally the legs are like this as you can see this is the front of the leg so you have to move it like this rotate, rotate it and move it all the way here and now you can move th this part up Uh, I am pushing with both of my fingers and holding it here because they are connected by a bar. So if you will be pushing only one side, it might break and it would be hard to move. So like this and it's all the way up. Okay. And now this part here. Um, this flap here, as you can see, is extremely stiff. So you can move it a bit to loosen it but I think it, you will need a tool to open it which I will show you uh, let's move this part here okay same with this after a few times the transformation is not that bad I think but the first time I did it it was a horror so this we will lock this part here and now that it's down it it's extremely hard to move it up so I will pry this open later with a tool and you have it like this and now the part that uh, uh, I don't remember who <laughs> I'm sorry but uh, someone at TFW 2005 asked me <coughs> sorry what's asked me what's the deal with the, this part here so what you need to do is first move this part up like this and push all the way down same with this okay like this so you have them and push on those two parts holding this down and if you if you have this set up right those two parts need to click past those two posts so let's align those two windows let's plug them together and now as you can see something is wrong because they are not moving past so I will be pushing this part here pushing this part here snapping everything till oh you can see as you can see they are now past those two posts and if you have them in this configuration this means that it is correct and if you close this there is no problem nothing is obstructing this part and just sitting here but if those two aren't moved past this post you will not be able to close him properly if you have trouble with this try to push on those two joints holding this back so that it's 
all in all the way because it's very easy to just leave a small gap here and it will lead to some problems later okay so now now with this thing here uh, those parts need to be rotated like this mm -hmm. and the head is up here and let's this part okay like this sorry this is and now you will move it like this here uh, let's position the head so that the, the those two things fold all the way like this now it allows you to move the whole thing here and if you have this correct you will be able to plug this part here okay so this is now done this can be moved here or can be moved later and now the biggest problem for everyone uh, those two parts here so this metal post here is a big problem and it's very hard to push this like this uh, you may need to loosen this hole with the screwdriver you can just uh, move a screwdriver here and rotate it a few times so it's bigger I did not need to do this on this one but I had to do this on Jazzy so it may be may vary and now uh, do not try to push the doors like this but instead move uh, them like here it's hard for me to see and show you at the same time but as you can see if you move them at, at this angle here the peg grabs the door and when you push them later as you can see oops and I broke the side mirror no I did not broke it it seems like it's broken but I just grabbed too hard and I rem I will glue this back later it's not that hard but as you can I'm showing you and moving this around and it's that's why I made a mistake. So oh, once again, as you can see at this angle, the peg is inside and then I am pushing everything here. And now, and now I'm trying to align this. Do not, my, do, do not worry about this roof unplugging right now. Let's move it again like this at the angle and try to push it in and it's not going in oh like this see it went in uh, but it's it's you need to fill this out really it's it's hard to tell or show I will try to show it once again not like this but like this and with a rotating movement just let it grab and you can see both of them are in and now you can move this up push those two doors here at this part here same here as you can see they are plugged in uh, those parts here rotated on mine I will move them down and if your legs spread like on mine I mean, sorry, <laughs> and if your arms uh, do not allow you to push this down, just move your finger inside slightly and it will separate them enough so that you can move this thing here. And something's unplugged, but you can just wiggle everything to its position like this. I will be pushing everything in. Most of thing, the things are inside this thing here. It's easy to push in the wrong direction that and something is popping off, but there is something wrong here. So I think this window is push, pushed too far in. 
Yes. So make sure that those windows are not pushed too far in. And once again, okay. And I think we are basically done. He is rolling, is he? Well, sorry. I think we are mostly done. This needs to be pushed back down. I always have a problem with this popping up. I think it can be done if everything is accordingly pushed. So, yes, this. I think it's because those two or the head should be moved uh, slightly to the side. But the biggest problem for everyone was the doors. So, and this can be pushed right in. If you push it all the way, it's holding just fine. So here he is in car mode. I think he's a very nice stepper. The side mirror is missing, but I will... Oh, I didn't notice it was painted. So, wow, no! Okay, so I plugged the mirror back, so it wasn't a big deal. I will probably need to put some glue to secure it, but it's not not too bad. So, so this is it. I think those windows should could be aligned a bit better. I think that everything could be aligned a bit better, but not at this level. So, very cool figure. Does he roll? Those two wheels do not spin very good. Those two. So he th theor theoretically he can roll, but there there are some problems with it. So so the the rubbing is not anything down here. It's just uh, the wheels do not spin very well because the the zeta I think the front ones. Yeah, th this this one, those two, those two are moving. So okay, the wheels do not spin very well. So let's move a bit closer. Very cool car mode. Uh, uh, this is how he looks next to. So this is how he looks next to a uh, under car bot. This is. Um, custom painted blue streak. I think they look very nice together. This is really fitting to the the figures that I consider masterpiece because I I do not like the late the the, the latest releases like Inferno and stuff like that. But this one is really good, cool. And I think this plugs here somehow. I'm not sure how they so I think I saw someone at the video placing it like this, but I think this this is a look. Okay, but it's just an option. So let's we got him here. the 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 doors are plugged in. This could be aligned a bit better, but but just just you need to open it and close it and try to wiggle it. The correct way. I think the head could be moved a bit. Those two things are crooked, so they could be flat. It should be better. But let's move, transform him back to to robot mode. So let's move this thing up. Now I'm plugging the doors. <laughs> Once they are plugged in, this one goes out easy. This one will. Oh, okay. It 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 wasn't that bad. The side mirror. It looks like it needs to be glued in because I will be knocking it off easy now. But this is my third figure of this mold, and this is the first time it happens, so I think it's not very common. I, think, I hope <laughs> at least. Okay, so you we are opened the bot mode, and now this part is are here. Let's separate them or, or no first let's move this slightly up not because we don't want to break it now it's very delicate movement to separate them and move this down same here okay and now uh, 
no, this this thing. Move this part. Let's move it down right now. Okay, let's move it slightly down. And again, you could hold with your two fingers here and your thumb, and it will, should move like this as one piece. Now, move those parts here like this. I hope you saw that. So this is the way it was now move it like this and now rotate them like this so you have a front of the robot uh, those two parts let's lock them here let's rotate those two parts it's hard for them to move like this but if you move them sideways i think or this way oh, this one not plugged but uh i know there's a easy angle to move them and at some other angles they are hard to move so I don't remember the correct angle right now perhaps it is this angle maybe it was this angle but you can move them without unplugging them just that it moves different at different angles okay so so this waste is done those panels are all uh, it's not all the way up so Make sure it's all the way up. Once again, like this, we are fine and move them like this, so it's all the way up. It looks better in robot mode if there is no gap here. Okay, and this part moves like this, so you have the this thing ready. Uh, I will leave the legs for now because this upper part here is floppy, and I would like to secure it first but I will secure the knees so I have more room here okay so so now uh, this part those those two parts need to open first move this arm up like this and then with this movement like this the second arm should be easy now so like this you can move them a bit to the side to have more, more room now the head the head is back here so on this double hinge move it like this here past this part now like this let's open this part I'm sorry if I'm moving off camera but this is hard to show on camera and now we have something like this so this can open and we can first rotate the head like this and now should it should go through will it almost so I think there's another hinge here, oh, like this probably. Okay, so I moved it past and let's push everything up. You know, that's seeing what I'm doing, but I'm pushing this part through. okay let's leave it like this for now this part here will be hard I think to open once we sorry this part will be now hard to open because of the stiffness so which part should I grab maybe I'm afraid to scrape and uh, something but let's okay I slightly Okay, it's not so bad. Did I scrape something? Uh, no, no, it's okay. And those two also will be a pain to open. Uh, thankfully, this the visible parts are outside, so you can open them like this. Man, that is stiff. Okay. Uh, now, uh, those are uh, sorry. 
Now those uh, parts here we have to let's move those two black parts to the side and those parts here will have to move so the wheels are in between so let's try to move it maybe this angle This, come on, do it, do it. Mm. Okay, no, it's not yet. So I think this, I think I made a, yes, I made a mistake. This has to be like this in between, in between the wheel and the white part here. Okay, so that they're in, you can, there are, parts here that locked in as you can see here okay they are both in now let's secure those two parts over here they need to be opened all the way because it's very hard to okay and now push this part here and it will make a very solid robot if you push this all the way okay okay it's 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 not bad I don't know if I had this or not but I have it now so it's a big deal for me but you need to be careful uh, and this as you can see you can place it so that it's flat inside and if you do not like I mentioned this this part here may cause that it sticking it's sticking out like this but if you work it moving it up or down it should go all the way down like this so uh okay we are mo almost done the the arms let's move them down like here like this extend them move the fists out rotate them same with this arm, extend, move it up, open the hand, rotate the hand, squeaky squeak. The uh, doors will stay out like this because that's the way I like them. And now the legs, uh, you need to open this somehow. And there is, on my toy world I, can, I could just grab like this and rotate it. But it won't budge, but you can stick something here and open them. Uh, is there another way? I don't think so. So I will do it now. This is a flat screwdriver. Okay, so I would use something different. Perhaps this would be a better tool. So let's push this in. Okay, it. I did some damage to the paint, but it did open. And that damage is mostly outside. So when you open it, the damage is inside. And when you close it, it it's not visible. So you have to risk it. Maybe your part will not be as stiff. This one seems better. I think it's moving a lot better now. Can I move it with my hand? Yes, I can. So maybe in time, if you move it a few times, it will, it will be better. We will see. And now you can move your finger here to move this part down. So it opens. Same here. Okay, and now the this heel spur also is <laughs> is very stiff. So what I do, I just move a screwdriver here and open it like this. So once more, and now it should be 
it should be okay, yes. The tolerance is I mean he will be stiff so if if you if you like that in the figure he will be definitely stiff too stiff for my taste but thankfully those parts that you that you might rub while moving them are not really visible uh, this was uh, my I did this before so don't have to worry about this uh, okay so now he's almost done let's move this here and he is back in robot mode with no permanent damage apart for the side mirror that I will fix. Okay, it was er very easy to plug off camera. So uh, one more thing, this is a target master for Cyclonus and this is a repaint, usually it's violet. And this is a 3D printed mount that's available on Thingiverse that I did and you can now if you have this one or Cyclonus Tiger Master, you can move it like this. It is t made to fit uh, Toy World Jazz, so uh, and this this figure is has a slightly different tolerance, so it's more loose that I that it should be. I will be making an update, but I do not have much time for it right now. Okay, so I will pause him, and I will show you the some cool things that I promised. So here is Zeta Dark Gold and Toy World Coolsville next to MP10. And MP10, you ask, why do I call this MP10? Because this is a, a very cool thing that I just finished, and this is uh, you can buy those parts online on eBay, and these are STL files to print this thing. And MP10 is actually inside, as you can see. Here are his legs. This is a really cool Magnus armor. As you can see, this is the back, and it's so cool. I'm waiting for a white uh, MP10 repaint from. Uh, that's uh, I think it's a not an official one, but I will be putting him inside, and this thing can transform into a proper trailer so I'm really excited about this I will be showing it in detail once I have the white prime and this has some things that I need to fix like those parts here but it's really awesome I really like this and and just I wanted to show it to you so let's move on and one more thing uh, this is an this is an omegonic spin out uh, my chores for Sunstreaker uh, I really like this figure and I want to share it with people because I think it has a very bad rep. Uh, this figure has a lot of problems but as you can see this one it has some fixes made so it can work and function much better and I will be showing soon because I got uh, f two more figures uh, how can you improve your figure out of the box so this one has an alternative head right now but, but Thanks to the fixes, it's it has a, a lot more stability and even functions better. So this is a uh, part that I want to share with you. It's moving to the side. So here you go. This is Zeta Dark Gold. Very awesome figure. I really like him. Really, it he looks very nice. A lot of the parts are metal. I hope that you won't have as much problems with the transformation now especially with the doors please remember to move them at an angle move these parts all the way up and make sure that the legs are collapsed all the way and you should be okay really so thank you for watching and see you later